Hi, welcome to this tutorial which looks at creating an image gallery. Now, before I get started, I'm going to actually need to download two modules. One is the Views module. Okay. So download the Views module version 7. Um, and another one that you're going to need is the C Tools module. Okay, so it's Chaos Tools Suite. So download that one too. Um, extract both those files and save them into your modules folder. Okay, as you can see, I've got my sites all modules folder and I've got the views and C tools modules in there. Now, what I need to do is enable those. I'm going to go to my uh, Drupal site, go to modules, and I'm going to enable both of those. Okay, so I'm going to tick everything under chaos tools. Okay, now once those are enabled, what we can do is go ahead and start creating a gallery. Now, earlier what I did was I created a couple of images which I saved inside my theme. So if I go into themes, petrical, assets, images, uh, I've actually got four images here that I've resized. So they're about 800 by 600. Now to create the gallery, I'm going to do a couple of things. First, I need to create a new content type which allows me to upload images. Second, I need to create views which allow me to display those galleries however I want to display them. Okay, now to get started, let's go into structure, content types, and let's add a content type. I'm going to call this image. Don't need to have a description, and I'm going to go save and add fields. Now I'm going to add a new field here and I'm going to call it gallery and I'm going to make it an image item. I'm going to have image showing up there as well and go save. Okay. Now here you can actually select a default image that appears if you forget to attach an image when you create an image node. So I'm just going to go save field settings. Okay. Now the label for this is gallery so I'm just going to change that to image uh, go through allow file extension so that if there's a file extension you want to allow that's not listed there put that in as well maximum image resolution and minimum image resolution I'm just going to say is 800 by 600 is the maximum 200 by 200 is the minimum Maximum upload size. Now at the moment it says 128 megabytes. Okay, if you wanted to increase that, you could. Um, number of values. So how many images do you want the user to be able to attach every time they're creating an image content type? I'm just going to say one. Okay, and I'm going to go save settings. Okay, now once that's done, you can go to save. Okay, now that we've created an image content type, let's actually add an image. So let's go content, add content, and you can see that the image content type is appearing. If I click on that. So I'm going to call this church. I'm going to scroll down, go choose file. So I've actually already selected a file from my computer. Once you've done that, click on upload. Okay, and you should see a thumbnail of your image. We're not going to click on provide a menu link because we don't want a button for each image to appear in our main menu. So let's just go save. Okay. Now this is showing us the actual image page. So this is where the image will actually appear. Now we don't want the images to actually display full size on a page like this. Let's add another content type because what we're going to do is create a view and control how these images actually appear. So I'm going to call this one sheep and attach another image of sheep. Okay, I'll go upload and save. Okay, now what I need to do is create a page which will display both these images. So that means creating a view. So go to structure, views, and we're going to select add a new view. Okay. Now the view name is gallery because that's basically what it is. It's displaying gallery content. We want to display content from our image content type. Okay. And you can sort this however you want. I'm just going to select newest first. 
Okay. Do you want to create a page with this as well? Now, if you're going to have multiple galleries, you might want to uncheck that and then you can populate the pages yourself. I'm just going to go create a page anyway. Um, you can see that it's actually reading the past, localhost, business, forward slash, and it automatically creates a gallery page for it. Display format. Now, you've got a couple of options here. Grid, HTML list, jump menu, table, unformatted list. Now, for an image gallery, I'm going to go for grid. Okay. So it's saying grid of, what do you actually want to see? I want to see fields. Okay, now do you remember when we just created the field underscore gallery? That's what I actually want to display. So I'm going to select fields, items to display, 10 per page. So if I do have multiple pages, I'm going to use a pager to go next, next, next. Once that's done, continue and edit. Now this is actually our view. We can customize it. Now if you have a look here, it's got sheep, and church at the bottom. This is just a preview of what your page will look like, but it doesn't have the image. So what I need to do is actually add the image type in here as well. So it's a field that's actually showing up and you can see under fields, it's got content title, which is what we're actually seeing here, sheep, church. They're the titles of our images. Let's go to add. And what you need to do here is scroll down and look for the content type that you created. So you've got content, image, node image. That's the one we created. So let's select that, go apply all displays. Okay. Do you want to label? No, I don't want to display the label. Image formatter? Yes, it's just an image. Do you want to see a thumbnail, a large version or a medium? I'm just going to say medium version of the image. And do you want to link it to nothing, the content or a file? I'm just going to say link it to the content for the moment and go apply all displays. Now when you scroll down, you should see a preview of what your gallery is going to look like. Now I want to change one more thing, I want to move the title so it sits underneath the image. So I'm going to scroll back up to fields and click on rearrange. Now you can delete the field from here if you don't want it there anymore or you can just click and drag so the image appears at the top, title appears at the bottom, go apply all displays and scroll down and there we have it. So I'm going to scroll up, go save. So remember to always save. Okay, once that's done. Okay, now you can see I don't actually have a link for my gallery on the menu bar here because when I created the view, I unchecked the box that said create a page. Now, if that's what you've done, what you need to do is go to structure, menus, main menu, and we're going to add a link. Okay, now menu link is just going to be called gallery. Okay, path to, now our path was just gallery. Um, scroll down, it's going to go on the main menu, wait, three, save. Okay. Now I've got home, about us, gallery, which are going to appear. So if I go save configuration, let's have a look at our main menu now. Now if I click on gallery, it should go to my gallery page. Okay, now that's great if you're creating one gallery, but what if you had two galleries or three galleries or so on? What if I wanted to allocate some images to one type of gallery, another type of image to another gallery? What we can do here is actually use taxonomy. So let's go back into modules. And if you scroll down, you should have a module for taxonomy. And you can see that it's already enabled. What we need to do is click on configure. So you can see that already has a tags vocabulary name. Now I'm not going to add terms to the tags. I'm actually going to create a new vocabulary. So I'm going to click on add vocabulary. I'm going to call it gallery. Okay and save. So gallery is going to contain all the possible terms you can use for the types of images which will be uploaded onto my site. Now if you wanted to work with tags you could, if you wanted to call this something different you could. Now once you've created a vocabulary name you need to create some terms which go into that name. So let's go add terms. The first term is going to be house. So if you're uploading any pictures of houses you can tag them with this title. Go save going to add another one which is going to be called farm because I've got an image with sheep as well so save okay now I've created two okay so I'm going to go back to list I've got farm and house both of those are showing up there now okay so I'm just going to go save now that's all very well we've got two terms that we can allocate to the images but how do I actually apply those terms to those images or how does that option appear what we need to do is actually add a new field to our image type. Let's go into structure, content types, image and manage fields. We're going to add one more into it. 
I'm going to call it taxo for taxonomy. It's a term reference. And you can actually select what you want to do here, autocomplete term widget, which is tagging, check boxes or radio buttons, or select from a list. So let's go check box radio buttons and save. Vocabulary, okay, so for the image types that you're creating, where is it coming from, the tags or the gallery? Gallery, save field settings. Okay, um, you can go through here, it'll actually show you these are the options that are going to show up. Number of values, so you have to at least tag one of them. Save settings. Okay, now once that's done, you can save everything. And we're going to edit one of our images. So let's go to content. Now we've got two images, sheep and church. So let's go into church, click on edit. Scroll down and now we've got the taxonomy terms showing up. And it's church, so I'm going to put it in the category of house. Okay, and I'm going to go save. And for the sheep, I'm going to edit that as well. Okay. And I'm going to say it's a farm. Save. So now I have two images which are allocated to do different terms, but they're both showing up on the gallery page because I haven't actually created views to show up those specific taxonomy terms. So let's create a new view. Now the easiest way to do this would be to duplicate the gallery view because we've already created it. We're just going to change a couple of minor things. So I'm going to say clone, and this one's going to be called farm. Now for the farm gallery, what I actually need to do is change the path. So instead of gallery, it's going to go to farm, apply. Okay, now from this page, what you want to do is categorize these images. So because we're actually creating a farm gallery, we don't want both these images to show up. We only want the one with the sheep to show up. So under filter criteria, we're going to add the content type taxonomy. So scroll through and have a look for the one that you created because there will be quite a few in here. We need to look for content field taxo because that's what I called it in the image node, which is what I created. So I'll go apply all displays. Okay, auto complete, apply and continue. Okay, now for all displays, yes, it is one of farm. And it should appear, yes, there it is. We need to check this here, which says expose this filter to visitors to allow them to change it. We don't want to do that. So I'm going to click on that to make sure they can't edit anything. And click on apply all displays. Okay. Now only that image is appearing. So if I go save, and it should appear in the farm page now. Okay. Now all you would have to do for the other galleries repeat what we've done, just done. So you'd go into views, you can duplicate it, so clone it, rename it, so we'll call it house, continue, okay. scroll down and change the path to house, go apply, and we want to filter these images so that only those related to the word house appear, so let's go to filter, add, scroll down to content, taxo, and go apply all displays. Make sure you select auto complete, apply and continue. We don't want to expose this to visitors because we don't want them modifying anything. And what we're going to do is enter the word house. Okay, so it has to be one of house. Now I'm just going to tick that to make sure none of that appears and go apply all displays. And that's what's going to appear on the house page. Okay, so if I save that, what I need to do now is actually create the link so that I can click on it and go to the house page. So structure, menus, for the main menu I want to add a link. I'm going to call it house, path house, and wait, let's say it's six, and save. Okay, so now you can see house is showing up here. Save, and close that. So if I click on house, it should show me the house or the church. If I click on farm, it should show me the sheep. And if I click on gallery, it should show me both of them. And that's it. That's how you create an image gallery.